Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another uh, load workup, load check and all that of this here uh, 460. These are the Hornady 225 grain FTX. They're slightly different. Here's a picture of them beside the uh, 200 grain FTX. These were labeled for 45 Colt. Um, emailed Hornady, haven't heard anything back, but this math and all this other stuff, you know, and we're gonna see how these group. I'm gonna get a few velocities, some velocities. Got three for velocity and two for the jugs. Hopefully all it's going to take is the three for the velocity. My cable broke for the light thing, so hopefully it reads even though without the light thing on there. So yeah, dry my hands off and see how they do. You ready, sir? Yep. Oh, and I'm going to call out the chronograph in case it doesn't read on my phone. Twenty thirty four. Nineteen eighty three. Primers are flat, but you know, it's a high pressure round anyway, so let's keep going. And that was 1992. So I'll include pictures of the primers, but let's go check out the group. All right, so I was aiming here and I got one, two, three. So I'm gonna tape these up, uh, that's uh, 15 yards. So four inch group pretty sure I could do better if I was um on a table or something like that so I'm gonna take these up and then we're gonna shoot the water jugs over here got eight layers of denim set up ready to go aiming point and we're gonna see how to do so back here at 15 yards I moved the chronograph out of the way and we're gonna see what they do with eight layers of denim and the uh, water jugs Ready, sir? Yep. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's start out with the denim. Laying here on the ground. There's my aiming point. I hit just a hair low. There's my aiming point, and that's where I hit. And of course, it went through all eight layers of denim. You can see it was already starting to form because this rear hole is a lot bigger than the, if you guys could see. So that's the back hole, the rear hole exit, the denim. And then there is your entrance, right there. Seems like I sure hit low because there's the bottom of one jug, but this may be an old jug. So let's see, here's a jug, and it was pretty, it was fairly low as well. And then there's a milk jug, see all the bottom. And another jug, milk jug, and it was the bottom. And here's a little milk juggy right here. And there's nothing in it. So, I don't see the round anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reset this up and try again, and I'm just gonna aim higher because I'm standing like this height and the jugs are this high. So I'm gonna reset it up on something a little bit higher and see if that'll help better. All right, y'all, so if you come down here and look real quick, let me see if I can find something to poke at it with. So if I look under the table, I just saw this. There's the jacket 
Okay. Oy. Here's the jacket. And then, ah, come here. And that is what I believe is the um, lid core from it. And here is one of those um, Hornady 44 mag uh, handgun hunters. So I'm gonna, anyway, so I found the pieces. Jacket separation probably going way too fast, which I can tune it down. But um, I'm gonna set up anyone on a different thing and we're gonna shoot again because I'm already out here. All right, y'all, so it's my last one. Even though I did find the pieces of the other one, I'm trying to get a more straight on shot. Yeah, here we go. Where's my mark at? Oh, back here. Back up some more. All right, you ready, sir? Yeah. And that's it let's go check it out all right so i guess i did it hit low again because there's a front jug and the bottom of it's messed up um, this is one of the other jugs that was sitting up there and you can see where it split more of that up and i was trying to aim a little higher because y'all can see the actual body of the jugs are more there, but yeah, that is that. So they work. I do need to slow them down a little bit to maybe reduce the jacket separation deal. All on that, they work and they're pretty warm. So yeah, we'll go from there. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. If not, whatever. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe out there, everybody.